welcome again to this episode about motor vehicles so in this video i'm discussing with you about the various uh, fluids that are used in a motor vehicle uh, basically for the engine to be able to run it uses both mechanical parts and liquid in terms of uh, various fluids uh, which i'm going to discuss uh, with you uh, today and i'll start immediately with the most important uh, fluid and this is the petrol or the diesel as you know an engine runs through a method which is called uh, combustion and combustion it means combining uh, fuel and air and uh, fire to produce some motion you know and that is how an engine uh, is able to run and is able to propel a vehicle so one of the most important uh, fluid or liquid that is consumed by a car is either uh, petrol or diesel so you'll find out that most of the vehicles especially small cars most of them use petrol large trucks or large vehicles use uh, diesel and those are of commercial nature because diesel is cheaper than petrol so petrol is very important in a vehicle because it is one of the main component uh, that aids the combustion process in an engine and once an engine runs then it propels the vehicle to move so always make sure that you have enough fuel in your car and you'll notice that it has a gauge also that shows you how much fuel you have in your car uh, from uh, empty to full so this gauge you'll be able to, to see it so petrol or diesel is one of the most important uh, fluid uh, to be able uh, to run a motor vehicle fluid number two is oil oil is very important in a motor vehicle it has two main purposes one of them is lubricating the mechanical parts and the second one is cleaning up any debris uh, that may have filtered into the engine or the which are also as a result of the moving parts producing uh, particles from uh, the wear of the engine so oil is very important because it is a lubricant at the same time it also cleans any debris that may get trapped within the engine during the combustion uh, the vehicle moves pistons which are held uh, within the block of the engine so inside the engine we have the block we have uh, uh, bearings and these bearings hold what we call the crankshaft and the crankshaft when the pistons are moving up and down they move the crankshaft and that is how a car gets its motion and the crankshaft is connected in the engine block by bearings the pistons also are connected to the crankshaft using bearings so all these parts need to be always lubricated when the combustion process is taking place so oil is very important uh, for lubricating and also it has another function of cooling it produces a cooling effect when the engine when the oil goes up in, up in the engine the parts are already uh, very hot from the friction so it's collected underneath the engine at the pan and it gets cooled and when it goes back again to the engine parts the oil is already cool so there are three functions about the oil number one it lubricates number two it cleans debris from the engine and number three it also aids in cooling the engine so that is oil number three we have water water is also used in the engine in terms of uh, cooling the engine that is the most important bit of the water in an engine Kenyan coffee so water is very very important in a car in terms of cooling the engine and it cools the engine through 
the radiator. If you're a motor vehicle owner or a driver, you already know about these things. And so we know that water is very important since it plays the part of cooling the engine. That is number one. It's either uh, put in, inside the radiator or inside the coolant port. There's a coolant uh, holder in the car. The other thing that you'll find water being used for is clean the windscreen of your vehicle. So those are the two main aspects of using water in your car. Number one, through the radiator, the cooling system of the vehicle. And uh, number two, uh, cleaning your windscreen. When it comes to the next fluid, it's connected or related to the water, and that is the coolant. The coolant is an alternative to water in the radiator. So the coolant has special properties within itself or chemicals that prevent corrosion or buildup of rust within the block of the engine. So water will aid or promote rust and corrosion within the car, but the coolant has uh, special chemicals which prevent the uh, engine block uh, from being corroded or from rusting. So that is water. We then come to the next fluid. And ATF fluid or CVT fluid is used in the gearbox of your vehicle. So as you know, each car has a gearbox. For automatic cars, there is a fluid that is used within inside the gearbox. Again, the work of the fluid is to lubricate the gears within the gearbox and all components that are moving within the gearbox. And number two, it also cools the gearbox when it's running because because of the movement of uh, components within the gearbox, it tends to heat up. So this fluid, which is called uh, ATF or CVT, is used inside the gearbox for those purposes. And it's very important, again, to ensure that your car has enough of this fluid. Otherwise, your gearbox may get uh, damaged if the fluid is too low or if the fluid is excessive. So it's important to have it in the uh, recommended levels. The other important thing we're going to look at is the grease. Grease is a solid uh, liquid. And grease is used to lubricate moving components within the suspension system of your car. Uh, for instance, your front wheels or your rear wheels. Will, your front wheels uh, will have what we call the CV joint. And there are also bearings within the hub of your front wheels. And these are lubricated by what we call the grease. Most of the components have a self uh, greased but some of them you may have to apply grease in order to lubricate uh, from time to time 